we got to realize what we're dividing by, which is our x plus 3. So the first thing we're going to do for synthetic division is take our x plus 3, we're going to flip the sign, so we're going to make it negative, and we're going to put it outside of our little box. Okay, so this is a format for synthetic division. Then we're going to take the coefficients for each cube or square. So first, our highest power is 3, so we take that first. So since there's no coefficient, it's just 1. So we have 1, and then for our squared, it's 2. Then for our regular constant, it's negative 3. Be sure to keep that negative sign, and then our remainder is going to be 4. Okay, so the first thing we do is drop down the 1. Once we have this 1 here, we're set up for everything else. So we're going to take our negative 3, and we're going to multiply it what's on the bottom, and put it in the next column. So it's going to look like this. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Then we're going to add these two. So 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1. Okay, negative 3 times negative 1 is just a positive 3. So then we have negative 3 plus 3, which is 0. That's why this negative is important. Okay, and then we have a 0 here because negative 3 times 0 is 0, and then we just drop our 4. Okay, so how this is going to work is since up here in our original problem, our cubed is our highest power, we're going to start with 1 lower. So our 1 is going to be our coefficient for our x squared. So our answer is going to look like this. x squared, we can really say that this is a 1, we can include that there, minus 1x, since this is 0, we don't have to have anything here, this would be our constant. And then, our last number here is our remainder, okay, this is really important, because we can't say plus 4, that's incorrect, okay. We have to skip the 0 and be sure to skip the 0. And then we're going to put this, a remainder, over our x plus 3. So it's going to look like this. 1x squared minus 1x plus, because our 4 is positive, plus 4 over x, going back to our original problem, not our negative, x plus 3. And that's going to be our answer. Here we go with synthetic division again, same format as last time. So we're going to take our negative 2, and we're going to make that a positive outside of our little synthetic division box, okay? So this one's a little bit trickier than last time because our exponents go in order from 4 to 2, and they skip a 3. So there's no 3, so we have to count that 3 as a 0 because there's nothing there. So we need to substitute a 0 for that. So we're going to start off with our first coefficient as 1, then we're going to go to that 0 because there's a third exponent like I said earlier. Then we go to our negative 5 because that's our squared power, then our constant is a positive 3, and a remainder is a negative 3, okay? So that's our format. Dropping down the 1, 2 times 1 is 2, we get a 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 5 plus 4 is one, uh, negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Okay, then we get a 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So those are all of our setups. This is going to be our remainder. So since 4 is our highest power, we're going to start at 3. So we're going to have 1x cubed plus 2x squared minus 1x being our constant plus 1, positive 1, our remainder, minus, because of this negative sign, 1 over our original quotient, or whatever we're dividing by. So x minus 2. And that is going to be our answer.